What does it mean if you have a moon in Gemini? I'm Marina Orms, and I want to talk to you about the deeper meaning of having a moon in Gemini and what it means for you, for your soul lessons, how you're evolving, how you're becoming more whole, and how you're being happy. Uh, how the Gemini moon, what the Gemini moon needs to be happy. So I'm going to talk about that today. And Gemini moon people get a reputation for being curious, talkative, easily distracted. But let's talk about what's behind that and why and what Gemini moon people are learning. I'm Marina Orms, the founder of Astrology Heals at astrologyheals.com. And if you have a moon in Gemini, there is this quality to it that is uh, mental. Uh, it has to do with thoughts, ideas, problem solving, the ways that we process information, how we learn, um, how we communicate messages and uh, the ways that we use language. So that Gemini energy is really um, something that for someone with their moon in Gemini, um, the internal needs are for uh, thinking, right? It's for processing information. There's a need to be learning, a need to be asking questions, a need to understand, a need to process the information. And so the moon's part of ourselves, of course, is the inner world. The sun part is the uh, outer world and how we live our lives. So with that moon part, it means that those are the things we need to feel whole. And we're learning, if we have the moon in Gemini, we are learning how to manifest those higher uh, manifestations of Gemini energy. And Gemini ultimately is really important because it's how we um, it's how we generate ideas, it's how we uh, learn new things and how we share information and convey and communicate um, amongst uh, different perspectives. So uh, so if your moon is in Gemini, one of the things you're learning is how to be um, how to be focused in your mental energy, right? How to uh, go from the um, think of the uh, a bee, think of it being a bee in a field of brightly colored flowers. And each flower, you know, looks really enticing. And then you are at one flower and you see something else out of the corner of your eye and you really want to go check that out. So it's like that feeling of like the world is filled with color and new information and new ideas and you just want to go learn all of it. So, uh, so using that energy, which is really important um, to, as a way of contributing to um, problem solving and creativity um, is this Gemini aspect of, um, of being curious, of thinking of things that maybe other people aren't noticing because you have that ability to notice what is happening in the corner of your eye or the corner of your mind or outside of the current thinking. Um, so it's that ability to notice new thoughts, new possibilities, new ideas. Gemini curiosity really um, brings us that the the well it reminds us of the importance of having a mind of wonder of truly being interested and inspired by the different things that are out there how they work how we can understand them better and that that uh, curiosity and open-minded uh, attitude the mind of wonder to explore and experience the things that the world has to offer so for a gemini moon um, to learn those soul lessons of uh, of taking the um, that energy of curiosity and learning and getting it to serve your greatest good. So thinking about the purpose behind what you want to learn, 
what what is it you want to learn and why and of course there's always that willingness to abandon what you were learning to check out something else but ask yourself you know am is that what i want to be doing is that serving my big picture is that helping me feel whole is that helping me move in the direction of something that's important to me and uh so thinking about what you're spending your time on are you um are you getting lost in all the different trees in the forest or are you get you know having that experience of learning one tree really well so that you then know that and then you have something to share and to uh communicate with others what is the message you're trying to convey what is the message that's important for you to hear these are good questions um, if your moon is in gemini uh, paying attention to <clears throat> the ideas that and the ways that they serve you, the ways that you're communicating, the ways that uh, you are receiving information and working with information are going to be um, part of how you get your needs met. Um, and so looking at uh, are you are you having an opportunity to learn the things you want to learn, to go and check things out, to explore, to uh, experience new ideas, to learn things. So um, uh, being a student, reading books, uh, finding things out and, and spending time delving into the world of ideas and information. So that's the kind of thing that's going to feed you. It's important to um, Make sure you have a purpose behind what you're doing so that you're not just getting lost in infinite distractions and taking that um, taking that purpose and using your ability and your need and your inner world of wanting to connect with ideas to uh, serve something that feels important to you. Awesome. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have a moon in Gemini, let me know in the comments uh, what you do to take care of your Gemini moon and your need for information and learning and uh, anything that you've learned today. I would love to hear about it. All right. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Check out more of my videos. I've got lots more content and um, we're looking at the astrology of unshakable self-care and how astrology can support you in uh, evolving along your path to be your happiest, most fulfilled and whole self. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.